Hi, Sal. We are going doing a more of a deep dive from our time that we spent in Egypt. We recorded when we first got back, but I wanted to go back to it because we had such a good time and there's a lot more that we could talk about. We've learned some lessons along the way about podcasting and uh, posting videos on YouTube. I think we can be a little more helpful. Yes. To our viewers and listeners. Yes. Uh, for, it's been a while since I posted, but we are trying to uh, be better, be more informative. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's fun for us anyway. Yeah. To talk about travel. We yeah. talk about it all the time. Yeah. Getting back to Egypt, Luxor has a lot to offer. It, it's an amazing, beautiful city with ruins right downtown, which I thought was a crazy thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just. Walk out of your hotel in five minutes, you're, you're walking through uh, the Luxor Temple. It's yeah, crazy. really so. crazy. The highlights for me, though, I, there were three things that we saw there in, in Luxor that I really thought was amazing in the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens. We should talk about that. Yes. I, I love so, that. I went to Egypt to see the Pyramids of Giza, obviously. That's what I went there for. But I. Don't miss Luxor. Mm -hmm. To me, Luxor was the highlight of the trip. There's, I mean, I love the mm -hmm. pyramids. Uh, Luxor was the highlight. Don't miss it. It's interesting. So yeah. Abu Simbel was my highlight. You're right. But yeah. I still love the Valley of the Kings, the Valley of the Queens, and right. um, the, the um, Tomb of I. Right. So, yes. Yeah. So, so, well, I'm just going to re-say this in case you haven't seen the other. It's it's eleven dollars as a general entrance ticket that will get you into three tombs in the Valley of the Kings. Uh, the photography ticket is twenty five dollars. Get the photography ticket because they do stop you from taking pictures if you don't have it, mm -hmm. and it is well worth it. The tombs are just amazing. Carvings, paintings. You 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 see so much. Mm -hmm. So the, the, and then there's in the Valley of the Kings. There's two tombs that you have to pay extra for. One of them is Seti One, which is a thousand Egyptian pounds. That's fifty five dollars at the time. Crazy expensive for Egypt. Worth every cent. Just it it. Is uh, it, it was just amazing. I don't know how I'm, I'm going to show you as many photos as if I can. You you enter, and you're walking. You know, it's it's just headed down. I mean, it's headed down into a tomb, and the walls are usually towards the top. You can get some fading and some other stuff, but you know, once you're once you're in 15, 20 feet, the the paint in this one was perfect. The carvings were great. You know, Horus, um, Isis, all the different gods were just um, there um, presenting things to the pharaoh. Um, I think the pharaoh's son was part of uh, uh, Seti One, and so you see these. The everything was just incredible, and so, uh, some of it, some of it has been restored. Some of it's just original. It's it's amazing, and there was a lot of rooms off to the side where you could go in. Uh, you know, columns that would have, uh, you know, different uh, gods and different offerings. You know, the, the idea here is I want to be taken um, to the next life, <laughs> to the after afterlife. Yeah. So, and it wasn't just, oh yeah, I'm a pharaoh, so I get it. You really had to do things to make that happen. The nice thing about the when you purchase one of these special tickets that are fifty-five dollars each, there I don't think there's anybody in there with us. No. There might have been somebody who showed up at the end. Right. But that's quite nice because they they do get crowded and sometimes it's difficult to get a photo. If you want to have a photo of yourself or you want to have a photo of the person you're traveling with, and it's very crowded, it can be it can be difficult to have a. I think. Tourist-free photo. Right. <laughs> we were the only ones in initially and it was it was great uh, they have wings over the doorways for uh, safe passage through they have the the wings around the mm. pharaoh um, for protection um, just some crazy beautiful stuff so yeah. absolutely worth it 
I think that we decided the last time we talked there's 15 or 17 tombs overall in the Valley of the Kings. They only have some open. They don't have every single thing open. They know of about 60 of them, but they're, they haven't excavated all of them, mm -hmm. and they certainly don't have all of them open at once, yeah. no. And honestly, if you can find information about which are the best ones to see, like we don't have a total list, but maybe we could create one. Yeah, I'll then put it in the, if you're put it in there the and you want to have like these are the ones that we thought were the best, that way if they happen to have them open when you're there, you could say, oh, I definitely am going to see these three because you only yeah. get to see three with your eleven dollar ticket. Right. I mean, I guess you could buy another ticket. You could. But we went back. We went back several, several times, but we didn't purchase more tickets in the same day because we did spend quite a bit of time in each of the tombs that we were allowed to go in. Right. Yeah, well, it's like this day, this is our second day back, we bought two extra tickets, SETI and then Ramsey's, the sixth. Uh, that was cheap, that was only like 80 pounds, um, five bucks. Um, and we went into that as an extra one as well. So we saw five that second day we went in, three on the original. So we, we saw almost all of them that were open. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's true. Yeah. In the three days that we were there. Yeah. So. Get, let's talk a little bit about getting there. So if you're staying in downtown Luxor, which is probably where most people are staying, you're right, going to be yeah. on the other side of the river right. from where the Valley of the Kings or the Valley of the Queens is. Yeah. Find the National Ferry. It's... Big and red? Is it red? Big and blue. I don't know. You'll, I, you'll have offers. Oh, we'll take you across. You know, uh, if you want to do a private one, you know, be my guest. But the National Ferry is like 20 cents. Um, yeah, and when you pay for your ticket and you get a round trip ticket, yeah, keep it because it'll. Right, it's we end up paying both ways because so cheap. They gave us. I thought it was a receipt, and I'm like, I don't, I don't need a receipt, but it was actually the return, return trip. So we didn't learn that until the last. The last day, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we we lost a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> and then when you get off the ferry, there will be drivers who will offer to take you there or on the ferry. <laughs> so yeah, our first day we. Way, way overpaid. We did 350 Egyptian pounds, um, and that's just way too much. The 200 is a really fair price. You could go 150 if you're, you know, really cheap. But the other thing that the drivers will do is they'll say, well, you have to pay me for a round trip because once you get up there, there's you can't get back. There's no drivers that aren't, are going to give you a ride back, which is may or may not be true. Right, there were taxis where we could, for 200 and that's, I don't know, it was ten, twelve dollars for the day, we just kept them for the day. So, and yeah. you know, they're helpful, they get you where you want to go, um, and you learn a lot. Hey, would you like to see this, or you know, do you want to see that, because there's other stuff um, you're just driving by, oh, let's stop there, he'll stop. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to shop, yeah, they'll, they'll be your best friend. Yeah. So, we, we did look for there was a specific square with crocodiles on it that I wanted to find. I saw it in one of the museums, but we couldn't find it. So, Oh, when we were shopping. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But, <laughs> we looked a lot for that. That's yeah. so funny. I forgot about that. Yeah. So I, it, was, it was a place I couldn't take a picture of it. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just you know, buy a replica. And they just didn't have it. So. On our last day. I remember day, it. But. Right. <laughs> On our last day at the Valley of the Kings, we decided that we wanted to do a kind of side excursion to right. the Tomb of Ai. Now, you can walk there, it's, yeah. but I would not feel comfortable because you, there's no signage. You don't know where you're going. And it's probably a good mile back on this road. And even once you got there, okay, you see people, they're doing excavations and there's work. You're like, where's the temple? Right. Um, so... A, that our driver, first he wanted like, oh, 300 Egyptian pounds, like, you know, you, you know he's just... So we ended up uh, twice, and, you know, he, then he said something else, and I don't remember. We walked away twice, and finally he finally agreed to 100, so... Sometimes you have to be a little bit of a stickler right. for price. Or actually, no, he agreed to 50, because we were told, for 50, they'll get you back there. And then there's a guy, he stops, he picks up a guy with a key to the tomb, and they, you drive back. So, you know, I gave them each whatever, plus a tip. So it was 100 was what it cost. But it's in the West Valley. So, um, and it's not on many people's radar. We're definitely there alone. I mean, as far as going into the tomb. 
Yeah, we were alone except for with the guide. Who, right. I mean, it was a very interesting experience. You're just driving on this dirt road back into this valley that doesn't seem to have anything going on. There's no signs. There's, eventually, you come to a small house. This guy comes out, gets in the front seat of the car, takes you. They t continue to drive. There was a bunch of workers doing excavations on a, uh, a tomb nearby. And you go in, and it's, it was really impressive, really outstanding. It, it wasn't in the best condition, but the reason it's unique is this was daily life in Egypt. Like you saw ducks, you saw ponds, you saw um, baboons. There were, there were things that are, were in no other temple, uh, or, sorry, no other tomb. Um, they just, so this was very unique. So particularly if you're you know, into the archaeology of it, you're going to want to go see this. Yeah, I thought it was so, great. And you have to buy a ticket specifically for it as well. It's not right. just the, the, the driver and the key man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it was really great. So that was, yeah. So that's what we return to in Valley of the Kings, but we also, has to be of course, Valley of the Queens. It's smaller, yes. quite a bit smaller. When we were there, our three tickets uh, I mean, there maybe were five or six tombs there entirely. I, there weren't very many. Yeah, we did four, uh, and three of those were with the main ticket, and then one we paid extra for. This was Nefertiti. Nefertiri. Nefertiri, yeah. So different from Nefertiti. Nefertiri's tomb, and I think it was, um, it was 60 bucks. Expensive. I mean, it was like, whoa. Was $60 <laughs> each for that, no photos. Yeah, no photos inside. Uh, ten minute limit. Yeah. yeah, that was really hard for me to swallow because we paid the sixty dollars each to see this one particular uh, site, and then the, when we got there, they're like, "Okay, you only get ten minutes." And I thought, well, if they told me that at the beginning, I would have felt I still would have bought the ticket, but I would have felt better about it. Right. So now you're forewarned. It is absolutely worth the sixty dollars. Oh yes. But you only get the ten. This ten, and it's. I'm so glad they're doing it because you know it's important. And the two of us were alone. I think the two guys came in with us, um, and you know we're pointing stuff out. And ten minutes was enough time. I mean, I didn't feel rushed at all. Mm -hmm. So and you know you're not taking pictures. So um, you you're really just looking at the paintings and drawings and carvings. It is vibrant. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Great. And they're running a humidifier <clears throat> in there to a dehumidifier and to keep it well preserved. Which I, yeah. And they limit the number of tickets that can go in every day I think as well. So yeah. that's very good. And the, the, the other three tombs, um, if I can, let me just find them here. One was um, Titi. One was a prince. Yeah. Queen Titi's tomb, Prince of, ooh, Kama yeah. Wesset, Prince of <laughs> Kama Wesset, and then, yeah, and then the Queen. All of them were really good. I loved Luxor. I mean, yeah. you just can't, can't beat it. Definitely, if you're going to Egypt, you got to go to Luxor. Yeah. The touts were a little more aggressive there. They really count on tourism, so it's a you know always good to go, and it's always good to be remember to have small bills for tipping, yes. and that people are going to want your attention. It's you can just be friendly and politely say no, or you can say uh, la ashukra. Very good. That means it's no, no thank, thank you. you. Yeah. And if they ask if you've been to Egypt before, just say yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. If yeah, they find out that's your first visit, oh great! I can charge him twice what I can charge anyone else. So yeah, I've been to Egypt before. You know, I haven't been to Luxor, so it's my first time here. But been to Egypt several times. You know, right. they're they're just going to treat you differently. Um, it's just yeah. and it's cultural. It's not. And if someone is is you know, I'm trying to talk to Sally, and someone's yammering in my ear, and I just turn. Enough. Yeah. No. <clears throat> you know. It's not rude to them. It's it's just they're, you know. It's I don't know. I guess if you're from New York, you just take that for granted. But <laughs> you know, so it's not rude. The guy we had one, not an altercation, but one taxi driver came back the next day. He wanted us. He wanted to take us again because we overpaid him. And I said no. We already made a deal. And da 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 da. And so, and he was. <clears throat> He was kind of ragging on our driver, not necessarily on us, but we saw him the next day. Happy as could be. Hey, how you doing? You know, the, uh, you know, and they, 
and it's like, oh, we're going to be leaving tomorrow. I said, oh, okay, I hope you enjoyed your stay. So he, he wasn't, he never thought anything of it. So it's just, yeah. you know, culture thing. You have to you adjust just, to that you know, a little you bit. Adjust and just be aware that you can always say no thank you. Uh, and particularly if you say it in, the, in uh, Arabic, they're going to yeah. respect that you know what you're doing and, and be respectful of you. So Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it was a really amazing we went across that river so many times on that ferry, and right. I can't believe we didn't <laughs> use our round trip until the very last ride. <laughs> right, yeah, but uh, well worth it. Um, I know I mentioned uh, Karnak Temple and Luxor Temple in this video and the last. Maybe we'll do something just specific to those, because those are well worth it, and they're just, you know, a walk up the street. Yeah. So very, uh, very cool. I mean, these 60-foot walls and 30-foot carvings of the pharaoh and some of the gods and down to, you know, very small, um, you know, hieroglyphs and uh, cartouches and, uh, it's, you know, it's all telling a story and it just, it's like, wow, it's so fabulous. If you're a photographer, those are some really great places to yeah. go. Especially if you're getting some great sky in there late in the afternoon or early in the morning. I think yeah, you can get some definitely. Good. And there's also balloon rides at uh, Luxor. Uh, we didn't do it because it was kind of hazy, and yeah. I just didn't think it was uh, would work. But uh, there were a lot of balloons up. Um, We've done balloon rides other places, so. Yeah. I... So I think I still think it would probably be worth it if it wasn't hazy. Mm -hmm. But I I just have a hard time dropping on I don't know 150. I don't really know what the price was, but that's probably about right uh, for a balloon ride when it's going to be hazy. Yeah. Well, this was a really good conversation. I like yeah. it that we're taking a little bit more time to do these, um, I guess we're going to call it a deep dive. Yeah. In so. uh, the locations that we've enjoyed the most. Look for some repeat destinations as we uh, continue working towards improving and getting more information to you. Yeah, absolutely. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, and comment. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, is it getting better? Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Al.